I want us to share something about the competence-based curriculum. How we are implementing it, how we understand it in our area of Africa Secondary School, Namiriango and Mukono. Previously, we had the content-based curriculum. The content-based curriculum puts emphasis on the content or what a learner has crammed or has retained or what a learner has memorized. Now, the competence-based curriculum is all about the product. What can a learner do? After teaching, let's say, my history on migrations, can a learner come up with solutions to solve the current migrations? In this curriculum now, after acquiring knowledge, now you go to the second layer, understanding the knowledge. Understanding means being able to apply this knowledge acquired in solving societal problems. We have two forms of skills which this curriculum emphasizes. We have what we call the soft skills and the hard skills. So there are five, five things which are emphasized in this curriculum. Knowledge, understanding, skills, values, and attitudes. Now let's now go let's assessment. This is where many parents find problems interpreting the report card we send we, we send them in how do you parent out there every end of the topic or chapter our students are given an activity which we call an activity of integration they need research so schools might always come back to you for facilitation maybe not to make a to make a shoes please be forthcoming when schools come back, you don't say, we pay the school fees. Why are they disturbing us? No, now this is project. You have to facilitate the learner. We don't want learners to do projects they don't want because of money. When our parents are out there and they can support us. So your role is to support us. When they come back home in this project work, your role again is to help them, avail them with the necessary material, maybe internet. Give them data. I mean, my, my teacher, please learn how to score this project C because at the end of the day you never and then see this and the others but they it may send it here they are officials to come and check whether the marks you gave really befit the project that the learner are did. I informed you earlier we have three campuses that is Namidiago campus and Mukono campus. These are for sec for secondary education. But we have also one for primary education. And that one is out of Africa Junior School of Kasa. These are some of the best schools in Uganda. And uh, our dear parent, when you never raises senior fund, senior and P7 results, please come. We had a meeting our students. For, for primary, they even had a meeting right now. So, in case you have any primary going child, please. You can run it to out of Africa, Junior School of Bukasa. They will admit the child. The school is one of the best performing primary schools in Uganda. You check. When you come to Namidango here, the school is always among the best in Uganda with the highest number of first grades. Last year, the school got 234 first grades. And the other few were in second grade. And when you go to Mukono, so is also among the best in Uganda. So always come, visit us. We shall always admit our learners. We want learners. We like learners. We teach learners. And we're preparing them for real life. My dear viewer, thank you for tuning in to this channel, YouTube channel, Order of Africa Senior Secondary Schools. We are exploring the competence-based curriculum. We have covered so many series. That's why I always encourage you to always like, follow, and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that every time we post a series or an episode, you are notified.